Hi folks, right okay we're going to get started on the task today which is a one point perspective drawing task. Alright so you've probably seen in the example that I've popped up, this is what we're aiming for but a lot more detailed obviously because this was just a sort of starting point in terms of detail just down here but the basic drawing skills of drawing one point perspective is definitely what we're looking to do today. Alright so what you're going to need is a piece of paper or the equivalent, maybe a piece of card. Remember, we're trying to encourage you to use recycled materials, so you could use the old, an old cereal box packet or something like that. All right, something flat and two D, and is somewhat of a decent thickness. All right. We're also going to want you to go into your art pack and take out your two B pencil and your fine line pen, and then lastly, an eraser and a ruler. Now, if you don't have a ruler, just something with a straight edge will do fine. Okay. So we're going to use our knowledge of perspective and we're going to basically create our vanishing point right in the centre of our paper. Alright, so that's our vanishing point just now. Now you're probably wondering, why is it not sitting on a horizon line? Well, for this drawing in particular, we don't have a horizon line because we're looking up at the buildings, alright? So our vanishing point needs to be right up and in the sky. So there's no point drawing a, a horizontal line there to create a, a horizon line. Now, in terms of perspective, that's what we're after. We're looking to make things gradually smaller as we get to our vanishing point right in the centre. So you can see that these buildings are slightly smaller at the top and they're much larger at the bottom. So it goes from wide to narrow. Now, in terms of viewpoint as well, the viewpoint here is quite overwhelming, isn't it? Because we're looking up at all of the buildings. We're surrounded and overwhelmed by all of these buildings around us. So our viewpoint is that we're looking up. Okay, so our viewpoint is from below. Right, let's get started. So we've got our viewpoint right in the centre here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our ruler and all of our lines are going to come from this dot in the centre out towards the edge. So I'm making a triangular shape like so. And then I'm going to turn my ruler and make a sort of straight line across like so. So that's our first building there. Okay. Um, I'm also going to just extend this line a wee bit because I'm going to make this building into three parts. And then I'm going to draw another line from the vanishing point down. If your lines come from the vanishing point, it should be accurate. Okay, it should be accurate. What I'm going to do is just go a bit further down. And there we go. I've got this three part building here to start with. All right. Right, I'm going to move along. So another one. Put this down. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw sort of three triangles with a little gap in between. Okay. So say for example this is my middle one here. I'm going to draw my straight line along. This time it's actually going up and down the paper. Straight line across. Straight line across line across. So there I've created three buildings again, haven't I? Now, the trick here in order to make these three buildings look 3D, because right now they're just three shapes pointing up towards the vanishing point. So what you're going to do is if you're able to create a right angle off of any of these buildings, then you're going to be able to make it look a bit more 3D. So for this one here, for example, I can create a right angle here, so I'm going to do so. All right, that one I can't because of the position that it's in, but this one here I can. There's my right angle. Okay, now I'm then going to go from the vanishing point again all the way down to that line and draw it was. So can you see already that that's become a 3D building because you can see the edge of the building and the front facing part as well. So I'll just fix that one as well. So from Vanishing point, always, always from the vanishing point outwards. There we are, another one, another 3D building. Okay, now just to make these buildings look like they're connected, I'm also going to draw a line to make them meet, like that. Already coming together really, really well. So what I would like you to do is just continue your way all the way around, making different shaped buildings and playing about with this. Okay, so I'm going to have my building going in that direction. And I can make a right angle from this one. 
I'm going to make my right angle but then I'm also going to connect it to the next button and there we go I'm just going to continue my way all the way around until I've got some lovely surrounding buildings Okay, so the next step is to take your fine line pen and to outline all of your buildings once you have used your eraser to erase all of your pencil lines in the centre because the ones in the centre are going to be quite confusing. So let's take all of these ones in the centre away and outline all your buildings with your black pen and it will really come to life now. So I'm happy with this. Now the thing that I can do is take my black pen and add in lots of details yeah now if you're putting any straight lines make sure that it is parallel to the top of the building okay so when I've drawn my lines across here I've made sure it's parallel to the top of the building same in these ones here now I've also wanted to add in some little notes to Glasgow which would be quite good if this is seen as somewhat of a pretend Glasgow city and um, so you can add in lots of nice details all the way around the buildings Okie dokie, so now that we've got our drawing ready, what I would like you to do is go into your art pack and take out your oil pastel, so look for the eagle. And what I would like you to do is to take your white and a light and a dark version of the same colour. So for example, I've got a light and dark blue here. You could take a light and dark green or a red and an orange or an orange and a yellow. Two ones that are going to look nice together and going to blend quite nicely together. So you should have three pastels just now hot or cold. So what I've started doing just now is adding some colour to the sky. Now we want our buildings to stay black and white because they're really going to pop if that's the case but we want to have a coloured sky. So what I've done is I've taken my darkest colour, my dark blue and I've went around the buildings at the top and I've been leaning nice and hard to create a really vibrant colour there. Now what I'm going to do is once I get up into this sort of main part of the sky is I'm just going to gradually lean lighter into the middle so you can see that that's heavy and that's a lot lighter so I'm going to lean lighter so that I've got a middle colour so that I can blend my next colour on top of this and it's going to be just that wee bit more seamless There we are. So we have this middle bit here that I know that I'm going to put my next light colour on top of. So if I start with my light blue on top of this colour, I'm going to then get a sort of in-between blue that I'm going to create. Now I'm doing this in sort of circular motions because I find that a lot easier. Doing it up and down like that is a bit scratchy, so circular motions works quite nicely. I'm leaning hard here because I want this to be vibrant now. So you can see that that's blending really really nice already. And now I'm just going to do my plain light blue further in. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did, lean in lighter for the next colour to be blended on top of, just right in the centre. And the lightest colour is my white. Just going to blend really nicely to finish it all off. So it should be a bit of a gradient of colour from dark to light we've got going on here. There we are. Alright, so that's looking great. We can tell that that's the sky because it's completely different from the surrounding buildings. Alright, so let's see how you got on with this for a fully completed piece with details and colour.